Good evening and welcome to another edition of MSW Films, your one-stop shop for internet entertainment. Tonight I want to talk about the new Pet Cemetery that's coming out here. Um, I'm on the fence on this. I don't know if this is going to be any good. Uh, are they going to screw this up? I mean, like they have so many other remakes of movies. That's That's my concern and I wouldn't be surprised if they do um but anyway uh when the when the first pet cemetery came out in 1989 um I saw that in the theaters and it was a pretty creepy well done horror movie um it actually was pretty pretty scary man um and the main thing that scared me in that movie was Rachel's uh sister Zelda who had spinal meningitis <laughs> Um, and this was played by, that character was played by a man. Um, they didn't have all the CGI shit going on back then. I mean, there's right movies that that works in, like Avatar, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, you know, but to put it in movies like they do so much nowadays, they are just fucking it up because the makeup is way more creepier, man. It's just, it, it's way more creepier. Where did you go? <laughs> But anyway, uh, so that was a creepy movie. It was directed by Mary Lambert, um, who I think did a really good job. She was uh, she also directed um, Urban Legend, Bloody Mary, and she was mainly a um, uh, like a music video director. So she directed uh, a lot of big um, music videos for bands like um, the Go Go's, Debbie Harry, who is Blondie. Um, Van Live, um, Janet Jackson, Whitney Houston, uh, Motley Crue, Queensryche, um, e even Madonna's like first like uh, Borderline and, and um, Like a Prayer. Uh, she directed those videos. So this was like her first big horror thing that she did. I think she did a really good job. Uh, it was a very good movie. Also, uh, this was one of Stephen King's first movies. Most of his... Um, movies that they had made and stuff were movies that uh were made for television and man they were kind of shit uh like like the uh, first it um and stuff i mean it's a good movie but eh, it's it's for made for television man so it's it's going to suck cuz back then you know television you 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 couldn't even say you know god damn it or anything on television back then so it, they kind of weren't all that great so this movie was actually very well done, and I'm very uh, uh, skeptical on the new one because it's already being changed. If you watch the the trailers for it, uh, this time um, it's the little girl, whereas in the original it was Gage, uh, Lewis Creed's and Rachel Creed's little little baby boy who got hit by the truck and died, and uh, Lewis went and buried him in the pet cemetery. Now it's the little girl. Hug your daughter. So, um, I, I don't know. Is, is this going to be any good? It, who knows, man? You re I really have no idea. I'm on the fence with it. I'm definitely going to check it out. I am excited to see it. Uh, I just I just hope they didn't mess it up. Um, and again, you know, these if, in the trailer, uh, the kids, it's like a cult of kids marching to the pet cemetery, and they're all wearing, like, what reminds me of um, Nintendo 64 Zelda Majora Masks type masks. Um, so, that's new. And and the fact that it's the girl and not not the little boy is new, um, so I, I guess we'll have to wait and see if if this is any good or not. Um, it could be really great, could be a pile of shit. Who knows? Um, we'll have to wait and see. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and be sure to ring that bell to get notifications of our new videos. Who rang that bell? Hopefully you did. Have a good night. Wait, wait, no, no!